Yeah, my name is Apollo Burejea. I'm the CEO of Eco Concrete. Uh, Eco Concrete is all about sustainability uh, in engineering. Uh, we run three business models. Uh, the first model is we create technology for the infrastructure development industry. Uh, the second model is that we construct. Uh, we are into construction because we want to gather knowledge, uh, collect data that informs our ICT uh, and technology development. Uh, the third model is that we are into manufacturing of construction materials. Huh? Yeah, so we are manufacturers of uh, construction materials. Huh? Those are the three models that uh, establish our concrete. Huh? And our philosophy is that um, uh, we are pro-people, we are pro-planets, and we are also pro-profit. Huh? So those are our three P's that govern us. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in the process of um, uh, implementing our agenda at Eco Concrete, huh? Uh, we understand that um, uh, the commerce uh, landscape in Africa is different from the commerce landscape in Europe and other developed countries. Eh? Uh, and therefore we try to innovate around the commerce narratives of Africa to make sure that the technologies we develop are appropriate to our conditions in Africa. Uh, they are targeting what matters. Uh, for example, in Europe you have um, cement cheap, labor high. Eh? In Africa, we have cement expensive, labor low. So when you're developing your technologies, you do not want to focus on your minimizing what you have as a competitive advantage. You want to minimize materials in Africa and uh, utilize labor-based uh, technologies. And so we at Eco Concrete are trying to do a lot of research into uh, material cost minimization. So right now, uh, today we just um, finished presenting, uh, having our last stakeholder engagement meeting uh, on the preliminary stages of implementing a green cement uh, plant. A green cement plant uh, based, uh, this cement is based on um, uh, geopolymer and uh, alkali activation technologies. Uh, this cement is green in a sense that it avoids using um, uh, limestone in its production. Uh, you have um, the current cement, Portland cement, relies on limestone to make clinker, which is 95% of cement. Huh? And with this limestone, uh, limestone is chalk or calcium carbonate. So when they burn it, um, first of all, you need energy from coal uh, to burn this limestone. But then when you burn it, it reduces in weight. Huh? actually about 50 percent. Huh? You have 100 grams of limestone. Uh, if you burn it, you remain with 56 grams of lime and then 44 grams escapes into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. Eh? So uh, the challenge with the current cement industry is that uh, it's not the process, even if they're very efficient. Indeed, they have tried to be very efficient in the production of cement. Eh? Even if they're very efficient, eh, they cannot uh, reduce uh, the carbon uh, footprint of cement. Eh? And the reason is the raw material is the major contributor uh, in this regard. Eh? Yeah, so uh, uh, we came in with um, the concept, an idea of developing green cement uh, based on geopolymer. Uh, uh, science, uh, we are uh, using uh, pozoranic materials, uh, volcanic rocks as base materials. Uh, and then um, we have uh, salts from Lake Katwe, which uh, we apply as uh, precursors, as activators uh, for these uh, siliceous uh, materials, uh, volcanic materials. Uh, and we are able to make very good, high strength, high performance cements. And our cements, when you look at the raw materials, there's no demand for energy. Uh, we simply get the raw materials, screen them, and mill them. Eh? And because the process of activation is on site, eh? uh, so even handling and packaging is simple. So these cements come cheaper, uh, they come friendly to the environment, uh, they give us an opportunity to handle them uh, in a relaxed manner, and um, uh, the biggest component of the cement does not expire. I, I think uh, <clears throat> most contributions uh, were very positive. Huh? 
almost all contributions. Uh, people will come there, uh, investment, uh, the project. Uh, they want it uh, to benefit the community. Uh, and uh, as Eco Concrete, yes, we believe that you cannot grow alone. You have to grow with the rest. Uh, big and tall trees are found in a forest. Uh, so uh, we've picked that people are interested, that people want this project yesterday, and people want to be further engaged. Eh? Uh, for example, the gentleman from Katwe, while we were developing this project, uh, we relied on activators, the salts, uh, which are consumed in very small quantities. Eh? Uh, the activators, we imagined that we would uh, import them, but at a later stage, we saw that Lake Katwe had very good uh, uh, salts that would be processed as activators in cement. So at this stage, uh, we, uh, the project is looked, uh, we are developing the project to actually rely on Rwanda, that is in Kabale region, uh, rely on Rwanda, and then import the activators. Uh, in time, after two years of implementation, we hope that we'll have established uh, another process uh, or partnered with people who are already in charge of extracting salts from Katwe and established a process that guarantees that we receive uh, activators uh, so that we purely stop importation of any raw materials. Huh? Yeah, but uh, 90, you'd say 98% of the materials we need to produce this cement uh, will be locally sourced from Rwanda uh, and Bushenyi districts. Huh? I, I think we have a very clear uh, GTM, go to market strategy. Uh, uh, this go to mar uh, market strategy starts with demonstrating with products that are made with this cement. Eh? So we are not worried about what happens to our cement. We want it processed, produced, and uh, we already have demand for it, and put it into products, products like blocks, products like houses. And of course, as you do that, uh, naturally, uh, then uh, people will see and appreciate. Of course, being a new cement, also you need to train, to skill people on how to handle this cement. Uh, you need to teach them how they are going to mix the activators so that they get the benefits, uh, the performance targets they have. Huh? Yeah, so uh, it comes with time and we are ready uh, for that. Huh? The moment we start rolling out, we will start consuming this cement ourselves and transforming uh, it into products that people can uh, consume. And uh, don't forget that um, we have a competitive advantage of price. Huh? Like I've said, you don't need a lot of energy, so you reduce the cost of energy. The process of producing your polymer cement is very short. The infrastructure requirement to produce geopolymer cement is very low, and that means the pressure to return on invested capital is also low. So we believe that yes, once we take off, um, it will be easy for us to convince the stakeholders, it will be easy for us also to transfer, because we don't have a lot of pressure from investment uh, costs, we'll be able to transfer some of the benefits uh, uh, that come from uh, uh, this material, uh, transacting in this material. Uh, to the locals, to the stakeholders, and the benefits will be there for them to see. And uh, I think that's uh, important for success. We all must win. Uh, you can't win alone if you want to go uh, to be sustainable. I think uh, I, I want to thank the stakeholders that came. Um, they came from uh, very important departments, government units, uh, local government. I want to thank the people of Rwanda and the people of uh, Kasese, Katwe, uh, who moved long distances to come and be here uh, in Kampala today. Uh, I want to thank them for showing uh, the commitment to uh, supporting sustainability when it comes to developing infrastructure uh, in Africa, in Uganda first. Uh, I want to thank them for also believing in us as Eco Concrete and uh, they have listened to us and uh, we have even gotten feedback from them later. Uh, we are going far, we are going far with them, we've committed to them, we've pledged uh, that we protect the environment, we've pledged that we are going to be partners in this development and uh, we are going to develop our country together. And uh, I thank you very much, I thank them very much huh, for 
Yeah, I, 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 I'm appreciating that uh, most of these funders are looking at the private sector as um, uh, supporting the private sector as a model that can actually deliver change uh, quickly and effectively and within budgets. Uh, so uh, I want to thank the, the World Wide Fund for Nature and uh, its partners uh, and also UNDP uh, for consistently supporting um, these projects. Um, which are established on uh, social entrepreneurship uh, platforms. So uh, they've been with us, they understand us, they understand business, uh, they are quick and they are very flexible. Uh, so uh, I think we're in good hands uh, when it comes to partners and uh, I thank them for supporting us up this far. And I know we are going to go together to make sure that we win. We win for climate, we win for earth uh, and we win for our economies. Thank you.